Jake the Snake Roberts with hang on, 5, 10, 20, 20, 34 name check votes. He came in at fourth. Jake Roberts is a champion, a world champion. Can you see it? Would he be reliable enough? What I'm saying, Jake would have been a great champion. Jake did have a, I keep talking about interviews, but Jake's interview, the way he talked, he had that, uh, the voice, he had the look, he had the vibe about him that made you wonder about what is this guy like away from this camera? Or is he really like this uh, all the time? Because uh, he just had that interview. And Jake had something. I was talking to him one time, and he says, try not to have any wasted moves. Do you know what I mean? So you see guys now, you don't see it in WWE so much, but you do see it in AEW. They'll do a move before they do the move. Like one guy does a rolling, a rolling, I don't know, somersault, I guess. Then he does the move. I'm thinking, what does that have to do with him? Why don't you just do the move? Because it just, I don't know. I guess he does the move to show that he can do it, I guess. But Jake, there was no there was no wasted movement with him. And I could tell that uh from the first time that I faced him, which I have a copy of the program for that night. It said Dutch Mantel versus Jake the Snake, or Jake. He wasn't the snake then, Jake Roberts. And I think that was his first match in Texas. It probably wasn't his first match ever but it was the first match uh, in the Texas Territory, mm-hmm. I think. And that's when I did this, the, the short clothesline on him. Mm-hmm. And oh, he good God, we talked about this. And, oh, yeah. Oh, the, God. And, I, and he said, I'm going to take that. And he did. And people used to come up to him and say, boy, Jake does that clothesline better than you. <laughs> he said, don't you wish you'd have done that first? <laughs> I said, yes, yeah, sure do. <laughs> But uh, I want to I want to harp on slightly on Jake's interviews. I mean, I think a lot of people would even put him in a top five promo of all time. Why was he so much more believable than other people? I mean, is he just like that in real life as well? He's just got this no, like it's... dark, brooding, mysterious thing yes. going on. Okay, if you if if you have to make make it personal, here's a guy getting in your face, and he's sounding like Jake. You're going to take him pretty goddamn serious. Mm. You know, he says, hey, you know, blah, 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 in that deep voice. And he he is he actually renders you speechless. What are you going to do? You're going to hit him with some kind of smart-ass remark or something? No, you're looking to see what's in his hands or what he what he can hurt you with. Yes, he has that, he has that vibe, and it comes through the TV screen and – there's no telling how many guys late at night are all drunk and messed up on coke or whatever, and all of a sudden they get caught up in, in Jake's personality. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, lock the door, please! Don't. <laughs> Is he out there? But, but Jake, that was. But the only thing about Jake, like you just brought it up, is reliability. Mm-hmm. This guy's going 320 days a year. So can he do that? Like Tyrus. Yeah, like Tyrus. <laughs> Tyrus went 20 days and it was tough. But, <laughs> but but will he do He can do it if he wanted to. But can he do it? Without, because it's been well documented that Jake had a problem with the illicit drugs and it was... Didn't we show the the pay per view, the worst pay per view of all time? We did, yes. And that was Jake. Mm. So, so if you think here's a guy that I'm in charge of booking the world champion, and Jake, I'm saying, I wonder what he can he make? Can he make San Francisco and then make Philadelphia? I don't know. <laughs> So there is like a distance of like a day and with a lot of 
with a lot of miles in between. So that was the only thing that would hold him back. 